It is important to have drainage holes in our pots, and it is recommended to drill one if the pots has no holes. But what if you do not have a drill to use? Well, no drill, no problem. We will show you how. Hi everyone, this is Leslie of Sakhalin Social. We have been mentioning in our past videos the importance of drainage holes when planting our succulents because these holes help us to not overwater our plants. In fact, we made a video where we showed you step-by-step -step instructions on how to drill holes in the pots. If you haven't seen that, I will be putting the link here, up here. However, there are situations as well wherein maybe you do not have drills available. And in today's video, we will show you how to do that. All right, so we have three pots here that we would like to put in some drills, some holes today. I have here first this beautiful gray hanging pot. And then we also have here a cute little white pot. And lastly, we have this pink pots with gold specks. All right, so... Before we start, we would like to tell you first what materials or tools we need for this project. And I have here with me someone who is an expert, <laughs> and my husband, Alfred. He usually does not join me in videos, but I want to bet. So he is, as a consequence, he is forced to help us. So please, Alfred, what do we need to use? Um. Our first material is a uh, potting mix, any potting mix available. Okay. Um, so now, so this one we'll just be using a bit, the ones available in our garden. And then we need a hammer. Any hammer? Yes, any hammer. Okay. Um, then we need a nail. So this is a 150mm by 9mm diameter nail, a decking nail. Okay, is that the size that we need? Yes, that's okay. enough. Um, this so we'll start with the pink uh, pot. All right. All right. So what's our first step? Okay, the first step is to uh, fill the pot with the potting mix. Okay. Um, make sure that uh, you make the potting mix compact. So okay. in every layer you have to. Press the uh, potting mix. Okay. Yeah. So it has to be tightly packed. Tightly packed. Yes, right. that's correct. As much as you can. And of course, don't forget to wear some protective gloves so that when you do the hammer, you will be protected. So just turn it upside down. Okay. Make oh, okay. sure that um, it's well tight and tightly packed. Okay. And then, um, it's time course, to hammer. <laughs> grab the nails <laughs> and right. your hammer. Use the gloves for protection. Um, just mark the center. Okay, at the center. And do we need to do a like, uh, how much force? Um, probably you start with just a soft, um, hit. Hit. Uh -oh. Yes, and then um, since usually the point, the pointed part of the nail is a bit squarish, so you have to turn them um, turn it every around. hit. Yeah, turn it okay. around until you make that circular shape. And so it's that. important that you don't really do a a hard a hard hit. Yes, because that will probably cause a crack. Okay, I so see. Slowly. But kind of a uh, last one. <laughs> okay. I see. See. Oh, that's it. So we have the hole now. So you have the hole. Yeah. And it's very, I know, it's very clean. There's no crack. So, so now... here I'm just removing all those um, chips. They're a bit um, sharp, 
pipes. So again, All be right. careful because we'll be using the same potting mix again for, for other pots. And that's why you need to use the protective gloves. Yes, that's right. Hey, look at that. See? No drill, but you have the hole. That's good. All right. So can we do it one more time? So I will know what to do <laughs> next time. All right. Yes. So first step, as you said. So this is the white pot. Okay. We're, we'll yeah. do the white pot now. So as you said, first is to put the. Fill it. With yeah. The fill it up mix. with. Yeah. Up to the brim. Yes. Fill up completely and compact tightly. And compact. Very yes. compact. All right. So yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I can do that part. <laughs> All right. So after, um, of course it, it depends on the um. I can. The size. I so we're doing that so that the um soil will absorb the the, impact. The, the the impact the pressure the pressure from the hammer from the hammer. Yeah, it, it will transfer to the soil. All right. Just like a shock absorber. Okay, and then we'll just and put it upside, upside down, down on top of another layer, layer of um potting mix. Potting mix. And so the first strike is just a bit soft. All right. So a small, small um, Hit. hits. All right. And I can see that you're actually rotating the nail around. Yes, because the tip is uh, profile is square. Okay. So we don't want a square um, shape of the hole. So we turn it around until it makes a circular shape. Ah, I see. Now I get it. Okay, so before we start with this hanging pot, we've noticed in the past too that whenever we hit the hammer on the ceramic, there are actually some pieces of the pots or some debris that were actually um, mixed with the soil. And I know you mentioned that we have to use the protective gloves when picking this up because, um, of course, they are sharp, but you also mentioned that you have a technique on how to prevent that and how to make sure that there will be no more debris in case you're scared of sharp objects. So what's your technique? <laughs> um, so for the technique, not really a technique. <laughs> <laughs> what's your way? <laughs> this is a solution. So I have here a um, electrical tape. All right. Or you could you can use a packaging tape. Okay. Um, just cover the bottom area of the pot where you want to put your hole so you put it inside tape. yes you put it inside okay and the idea here is it will um kind of hold the pieces together when they start to um chip, chip. off mm. from when you when you do the the hammering so in that way um all the chips will be they won't splatter no yeah they yeah won't. okay and they won't scatter and mix ah. with your but um, oh. I mix. Okay, let's try. <laughs> All right, so same thing, just fill it up with the potting mix. Fill it up again, very compact. Very compact. I'm excited with these pots because um, this is a new pot that I'm planning to put some of my string of pearls. So I'm happy for them to have <laughs> holes. All right, yeah. so. So same thing, you have to turn it upside down. In a layer of potting mix mm -mm. and of course um, locate your hole where you want to put it all right the magic hammer of course <laughs> <laughs> there you go um soft blows first all right and um yes, yes mark the dents then it will just progress after that all right oh that's it is it and of course you Turn around the nails again to, to get that round um, hole. Because we put the tape inside, is it more difficult to drill or to hammer through the pot? No, it doesn't um, really matter. Um, it's the same okay. because the tape is just a piece of uh, film. So it's not that um, hard compared to the ceramic material. Mm -hmm. I see. It's just really there to hold the, the debris together. Okay, okay, that's it. Because I don't like sharp things, so <laughs> I think I will use the tape. <laughs> okay, so we almost have have the hole now. I think this one took took a longer time than the others because it's a bit thicker. Ah, okay. Than the other two pots. Okay. 
So now, so there you have the hole. I'm excited to see how the tape inside looks like. So the last part is to actually remove the, the potting mix, the soil mix. Okay. Yes, obviously you have to remove yes. the potting mix. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would pot immediately. <laughs> anyway, okay, and so. <laughs> And again, you have no, you don't have to worry, you know, for the debris, for the chips, uh -huh, because okay. they are all being. Um, uh, I can trapped. see it here. Oh, look at that. Yes, that so is all, correct. All the debris, all the um, chips are the there. pieces, the small pieces were trapped by the tape. The tape, yes, uh, that's that correct. That is a good technique, then. Bright idea. Then you. Uh, Peel Gently off, peel yeah. Peel off. off the. Let's see how it looks like, huh? And, um, da -da -da, da -da -da. There they are. If you see, oh. all the chips are there. Ah, that's it. So good. And there you go. We have just placed holes in three of our pots, all clean cut shall i say that yes. clean drill <laughs> clean holes without drill <laughs> without the drill so yes, without the drilling machine <laughs> so you don't have an excuse now even if you don't have drills at home there's there are still ways on how you can put holes just with the use of hammer nail and soil mix, soil mix. good all right, so since we have um, placed holes on our tree pots, let's take this opportunity to repot this beautiful Lila Sina. So we've used the white pot for um, this Echeveria, and we will just add a little bit of rubber pebbles. And that's about it for this um, video. We hope that we were able to share with you um, a new idea on how you can put holes in your pot i would like to thank my husband alfred for helping us today yay and <laughs> if i were you i'll work on our bet better next time <laughs> so yep that's it thank you so yay, much I survived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you so much thank you and everyone if you haven't done so um please do subscribe to our channel like this video maybe even hit the notification um, bell button so that we can share with you some more succulent videos next time.